happy to hear Be The Change. Today we're welcoming Alicia Vasquez and she'll be leading us through an advanced asana practice. So these poses help us to build strength in our body as well as confidence and increase our levels of concentration and coordination. Please remember to listen to your body and let go of the results. King Pigeon is an advanced pose. It is really important that your body is warm and prepped for this pose. Yoga is a healing art. So if you feel pain at any point, please stop. My name is Alicia Vasquez and I'm a teacher here at Be The Change. I'm here to teach you King Pigeon Pose today. And this is a really advanced pose that takes a lot of time to open the body to prepare for it. So it's best that you do this at the end of a practice. To build up to it, you would want to open your quadriceps and hip flexors um, and also really focus on opening your shoulders and chest. So some good poses for that, I'd say, are low lunges. They really get into the quads and hip flexors. Um, and any kind of back bend that you like. I also love the cow face pose arms to build up to the overhead grip that we're gonna do for this pose. So once you get into your pigeon pose and you can bring that back foot in, start to pull it a little bit closer towards your hips. The first variation that you will want to work on is mermaid arms. So we do that by bringing the toes into the elbow crease and you can just have your palm facing out to the side. Engage your inner thighs a little bit to help you lift your hips slightly away from the floor. That'll protect your low back. And then when you find your balance, lift your front hand up and try to connect your fingers. So once you've got that connection, then just start squaring off your hips and shoulders towards the front of your mat. That's your mermaid arms. After you've found some comfort in that variation, I like to bring the foot in a little bit closer. And for this, you can turn your fingers forward, fold them over the toes, and use the heel of your hand to really press in without forcing, just gently bringing it closer and closer. And then finally, if you're ready for the full version of the pose, you want to turn your toes out to the side a little bit. Get your hand ready like a serving tray is in your hand, and then scoop it underneath so that you're grabbing the big toe side of your foot. From there, let your elbow spin out to the side and eventually all the way up. Now it's great if you just wanna hang on to this part of the pose and breathe right here. Or if you're ready to add on, take your other hand to the elbow, just squeeze it in towards your head. And then eventually, maybe that hand can walk down to your toes. If you'd like to add the icing on the cake, you can drop your head back and bring your toes to your head making sure to keep breathing the entire time. If you are not able to come into that full version of the pose right away, a great way to build up towards it is using a strap. So you'll loop your strap around your foot and you can even make a little loop with it if you want, thread through. But either way, the strap will be around your ankle and you just pull it over one shoulder Make sure that that elbow is pointing straight up to the sky and again your arm is close to the side of your head. From there, hang on to the strap with both hands and then little by little walk it in until maybe someday you get to those toes. <laughs>